The year is just getting started, but we already have a candidate for the worst game on PlayStation 4. This is Life of Black Tiger, courtesy of One Games. Transcending smartphones and steam greenlight? A tale of terrible gaming, eternally retold. Life of Black Tiger is here, and it is a very bad game. You may have seen the trailers, but it's still difficult to comprehend how exactly this made it onto the PlayStation Store in the first place. As you may have guessed though, Life of Black Tiger is a mobile phone port. It's available on Android and iOS alongside a bazillion other similar games from its publisher, including Life of Deer and Life of Wolf Reboot. The ringing endorsements on the official Facebook page certainly convinced me. Unfortunately, all of these games crash on the devices I tested them on. Thankfully, PlayStation is here to save the day. Now to start with, Life of Black Tiger is powered by Unity, as the game proudly displays when you boot it up for the first time. Sure, it's easy to prototype game concepts in Unity, but producing an optimized polished game requires a lot of work, and well, Life of Black Tiger just doesn't fit the bill. But the basic idea is simple. The game drops you into one of several ugly empty maps and asks you to hunt for things or survive till the fixed time. Once you meet your objectives, then you can eat. And that's about it. It controls horribly, and the action, if you can call it that, feels awful and unresponsive. Each mission is bookended with a poorly written, grammatically incorrect piece of text. It's full of smell with blood of wolves today, and the smell is stronger than a few days ago. I can't bear with it. Let's kill every wolves found. Alongside this obnoxious rift. And then you're off, and it's pretty much just this. The animation is extremely basic, to say the least, and there's absolutely zero interpolation between any of it or any sort of transitional animation work here. The black tiger rigidly snaps between each direction, and the analog stick is rather fiddly as well, which results in the tiger lurching between various directions while trying to run straight. Thankfully, there's no collision detection here at all, so you can pass through everything, including enemies and trees. There's also no options menu either, so the camera is inverted and you can't change it. The sound and animation can also be interrupted at any time, and it stops in the most abrupt way possible. I mean, look at this. What is going on? Speaking of sound, you get a few sound bites for each creature and repetitive background audio. Look at the waveform here in Premiere. It just repeats over and over again. And the environments are about as sparse and ugly as you can imagine. The kind of thing that you could prototype out in a few hours. Walk up to the edge and it just kind of ends with an invisible wall and an ugly skybox. But tilt your camera too close to objects and you're treated to this lovely view. And what's up with the specular layer here on this grass texture? Pretty sure dirt and grass doesn't quite work like that. But okay, what about performance then? Well, first of all, this game doesn't support the PS4 Pro, so those expecting TRUE NATIVE 4K ACTION are gonna be pretty disappointed. Sorry, guys. It kind of starts off promisingly enough. This first area is 60 frames per second. Of course, it still looks off in motion due to the bad animation work, but at least performance isn't a problem. Then you arrive at the next map, and well, yeah, the frame rate is unlocked and bounces from 60 frames per second down to a lovely 20 frames per second depending on the scene. This richly detailed forest is clearly too much for the PlayStation 4. Really though, you have to consider that this is actually a rather old phone game and isn't even designed to work with the most recent operating systems on these things. So I have to admit I was kind of surprised to see it running this poorly. So all of this footage has been captured on a PS4 Pro thus far. So, just for good measure, here is Life of Black Tiger on a base PlayStation 4. 
And yep, it looks and runs about the same, huh? And the image quality is the same too, since as I said before, it doesn't actually support the PS4 Pro. It just runs at 1080p on both platforms, so I guess there's that, right? Now of course I was dying to make a comparison with the mobile phone version, but unfortunately the aforementioned crashes have made that impossible. Okay, then we have this mysterious multiplay mode. You select it from the main menu and pick an animal, you know, like wild chickens, wild boss dog, or my personal favorite, bear. I mean, just look at this guy. So then you jump in and, well, okay, here's the player list. Nobody on it. Nothing happening here. So if you hit multiplay from the pause menu again, it just relaunches this mode. I suppose the servers could just be getting slammed by the demand here. Or maybe you can join your friends from your friends list? I tried it and that didn't work either. Does this even work at all? Oh, and then we have these pre-rendered videos. I mean, look at this. Why is this so choppy? It doesn't make any sense. Nothing about this game makes any sense. This is madness. Why is this here? I, I mean, I guess on one hand, there's evidence that Sony is now opening up its store to more developers, potentially resulting in a marketplace more like uh, Steam. But at the same time, does this really add anything? Is there anyone that really wants to play this game? It's a free game on mobile platforms, and it doesn't even work anymore, but it costs 10 bucks here on the PlayStation 4. It just defies logic. You know what, if we're going down this road, they may as well port classics like Gods and Generals or Big Rigs over to the PlayStation 4 because, hey, why not? The floodgates are open now. Okay, so it really goes without saying here that you should not play this game. It looks awful, it runs poorly, and it lacks anything at all resembling gameplay. Yes, the reviews over on the App Store are somehow decent, which maybe says something about those reviews, but this is not a good game at all. When I pondered whether this was the worst game on PlayStation 4, you know what, I think the answer is yes. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. And until next time...